Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're back to my channel. Yeah, but thanks for coming back to visit with me. If you're new here, hi, we're glad that you're here. Make sure that you subscribe, click the bell so you can get notified of all my videos. And today's video is going to be on resumes and how to make your resume stand out from everybody else's. Let's get into this video. It's Shape the Doll Face. We back again. Don't think it was the last time because we come back again. Hey, hey, it's Shave the Doll Face. So if you watched my last video on interviews um, that I actually put up, was that yesterday I think I put it up? Um, if you watched that video, then you already know that I took a nine-week course on um, interviewing and resume. Nine-week course, came out of the class with an A. So I know a little bit about this, I'm trying to help others with the information that I learned um, while taking this class. And yeah, so I'm going to get right into it. Um, today we're going to talk about, I have notes here, so if you see me like looking off, I have tons of notes here. Um, yeah, so we're going to talk about how to make your resume stand out against the competition. Um, the first thing that is very important and people, some people don't know this, is you want your resume to all fit on one page. You don't want to go in there with a booklet and hand it to them because they're not reading all that. They don't care. They don't have time to read um, 10 booklets. You're not the only person that they're interviewing for this position. So you want everything to fit on one page. You want it to be um, condensed to one page that they can just look at, skim through, and see if you're the person that they want for this position. That's very important. Um, if you want to stand out, you can put your um, resume on nice paper like you know like the really nice thick paper or textured or whatever kind of paper you can do that just to kind of fancy it up a little bit and help you stand out because they're going to remember that uh, resume and if they're looking through a stack of them they're going to easily be able to get that one rather than just like a plain piece of white paper that everybody's using um, you also want to highlight any of your accomplishments and degrees and all those types of things first. So you want that at the top of your resume so they can see what you have done and what you can do from the beginning before they get to all the other stuff. It's like, okay, this girl done did this, this, and this, and this. Okay? Um, you want to include all the normal info. When I say normal info, I mean like your name, your address, your email address, your phone number, the ways they can contact you. You want that at the top so they don't have any problem finding it. They know how to contact you for the job. Okay. Um, let's see. The other thing, oh, you want to have a decent um, size for your lettering. So you don't want to have like teeny tiny letters where they can barely read it and they're like, who is this person? I can't even see it. <laughs> but you don't have gigantic words. And I'm like, okay, she just bought us 10 pages just to put a couple words. So, yeah, you want to check on your lettering and make sure it's like a decent size. Me, um, I recommend 14. I don't think that's too big. I don't think it's too small. I think, you know, either somebody has a problem seeing and they're older, they wear glasses, they forgot their glasses at home, whatever the case, they can still see the 14 font. So that's what I recommend. That's what I personally use um, if I was to write a resume, but I've been with my job for years now. Um, let's see. And you want to highlight... Oh, yeah. You want to highlight any um, special things that you need them to know. So you can use the highlight feature. Um, when you're using Word or typing your resume up, there's a highlight feature, and it highlights it yellow. Well, you can choose different colors, but the normal, um, I think, factory setting is yellow. So it would highlight it yellow if you want them to know something like me, um, personally. At my college, UNC Charlotte, um, I, the first semester I was there and inducted into the Honor Society of UNC Charlotte. So if I wanted them to know that, and that was something I wanted them to make sure they didn't miss, I could put, use the highlighting feature on the Word. Um, and when I'm typing the document, and that would be highlighted. So there's no way that they're going to be able to miss it. Even if they're skimming through because they have to look at 100 of them and they're kind of sick of looking at it by the time they get to yours, they won't miss that. It's caught their attention. It's highlighted. This is something that that person wanted me to know. Okay? If you're like, um, I don't know, the top percentage of your class or whatever if you completed an internship um for the same type of business whatever if there's something that you really want them to know and not miss you can always use that highlighting feature and it works every time okay so this uh these are a couple important things that i just wanted to share with you to help you make your resume stand out um against all the competitors i hope this helps you out Please make sure you like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put my Instagram info right here at the bottom. And everybody be blessed. Bye.